Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Meister Blue with my 100% bottle run of Sly 2 Band of Thieves. Bottle run and other miscellaneous things run. Yeah, that's what I meant. Well, Alright, so we stopped the spice growing uh, around here because we took out the heart. And I guess I'm still running around with it in my pocket. Probably not the safest thing for me to do, but whatever. Who, who even cares? Just kidding, I actually care. I care immensely. What mission is this one again? This is the... Oh, this is the sneaking one, isn't it? Yeah, this is the sneaking one. Sweet! I like the sneaky ones. According to Rajat's yeah. you're near the There's really no facility. comfortable way I'm finding However, to wear uh, earplugs. No lenses. comfortable way. They always gravity also always makes it the most hmm. uncomfortable experience like in the world. Using TNT to create these catacombs. Maybe I can borrow some to destroy the fences. You're the demolitions expert. How am I supposed to use that stuff? Oh, it's simple. Just jump in, lock the barrel to your target, jump out, and get clear of the blast radius. Is that how explosives uh, be work? Be careful around floor lasers, Sly. The TNT barrels won't work on them. Attention guards, make sure all laser fences are operational to protect the spice grinder. Well, that was a weirdly convenient order, Rajan. Yeah, this is really simplistic versions of how explosives work, I'm assuming. But I don't even care. I don't even care. No, I'm not mad. I'm fine. Oh, okay, I thought I, could, I thought I could make that one. I'm within visual range of the spice grinder. What's next? Rajan won't come out of hiding while spice is still being manufactured. If we destroy the grinder, he'll be out of business and have no reason to stick around the temple. Great. We do the world a favor and Rajan's forced out into the open. Start by getting a hold of that TNT down there. It's worth mentioning that guards won't be able to detect you if you stay still while in the TNT barrel. Nice. I know. Explosive disguise. Sly. Place the explosive Sly. Near that grinding wheel, and it'll be blown to bits. Just stop it, Sly. You're not making anybody happy with what you're saying. You're not making anybody happy with that pure, unconcentrated garbage. Go. That makes this a lot easier. So much easier. Yeah, getting rid of the guards. Big sure plus. Get the TNT barrel into that basin filled with spice dust. I know. Okay, what does the shock thing do again? Um, doesn't tell me. So I'm gonna put it to R2. And it gives me this. Which I, gives me a one sh a one hit KO. Nope, that's not gonna do me any good. Fuck! Oh, why didn't it hit both of them though? So it is a one-hit KO, but I can't hit both my targets with it? That's bullshit! I don't remember if I mentioned it or not, but about like 80%, maybe more, of the abilities you get from collecting the bottles in this game, entirely worthless. Not even worth it. It's only worth it for a completionist. Which I don't know why. I've been feeling very complete lately. I, I do watch Gerard the Completionist on YouTube. He's very, very awesome, very entertaining. I would love to get the chance to meet the guy one day. I do watch his stuff. What I don't understand is why all of a sudden I've decided, yeah, I, I like the idea of getting 100% trophies. All right, so he didn't even notice that. That's actually very deadly given this thing's low, low, low mana cost. And it seems like it lasts until I use it. So yeah, that's a very deadly move. It's just not it's not as good as it could be. And shit, since I'm down here, I don't I can't get back up, can I? I have to go all the way around. Yep, looks like it. Alright. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go quite a ways, unless I just wanna do the do the sneaky version. It's not as fun, but I might I might just do it. Gosh. You know what? Nah, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Fuck! That should have hit it. Stupid gravity. Um, 
No, I'm not gonna do sneaky. I'm gonna I'm gonna get this up here. I'm gonna run past the lasers. I'm gonna kill those two guards, and then I'm gonna just very easily get this up there. I say that now. It's uh, about the five minute mark of recording. Probably be done with this mission around 20 minutes. Knowing knowing my luck and the fact that I've already started doing poor performance, which is not not good. It's it's the let's plays curse, which I've not which I've found. Like, I found out about the Let's Plays curse back when we first started. Fuck, okay, good. Back when we did, um, Dead Space and Arkham Asylum. Fuck, no! Shit! Oh, you piece of garbage. Uh, the Let's Plays curse is that you can, you can be so perfect at playing something. You could be the best. No one could ever come close to how awesome you are at a certain game or a certain moment in a game. Once you turn on record, you will suddenly become the worst person to ever pick up the controller on the planet. I don't know why, but this just seems to be a common thing. Make sure to get the TNT barrel into that basin filled with spice dust. I know. Gosh. It's like you don't it's like you don't trust me, Bentley. Gosh, it's like you don't even care. Also, do not get hit like this, you will likely die. Not fun. It's bad times is what it is. So don't be like me, don't be stupid and careless. Actually try if you, if you, if you want. How are these lasers even sticking? Rajan, your logic is logicless. Look at my little tippy toes. Oh, uh, look at my little feet. <laughs> I love it so much. I think it's just plenty of air right here in the middle. Yep, right here. Woo! Yeah! What's going on down there? It looks like spice production has fallen behind. Wait! It's completely stopped! You found that out really quickly. Do you like do statistics for your spice operations like every two minutes? Because if so, you really need to lighten up, Rajan. That's way too little now. I could have just climbed back up there! Where was this when I was looking? Also, what the fuck is this about? Oh, this is just money. That's just a lot of money. That's what that is. I'm wondering if that's a respawnable place. Because if so, that's nifty. That'd be a good way to spam. Alright, so now we got... Whoop. I think we just have... We have to get the jewel. And then Bentley's got a mission. What is Bentley's other mission? It's the helicopter one, I think. Yeah, it's the dam. It's that gosh damn dam. Alright, so the Murray one's up that away, so it's gonna be over here. Nope, over here. I'll go this way. This way is probably faster. Oh ho. I'm glad I missed him. I didn't notice the shiny pocket until I was right up in his ass. And don't take that out of context, because if you take it in context, it's even worse. Isn't it gross, like, burbling? Is that a burbling? Wow. Wow. I'm the most English efficient person ever. You've also got a shiny pocket? Wow. I'm getting rich off of you people. Bronze! That's bullshit! Oh. Fine. Didn't want to kill you anyway. Didn't want to hit you with the with my cane on your stupid face. I wish there was a way to climb faster, but there isn't. Like hold down the run button and climb faster. Did they put that in Thieves in Time? It's been so long since I played that. What if they put that in that game? That'd be really awesome. How do I get over there again? I just need to get on top of there. I'm trying to remember... Go this way? So I have to get up that way. So I'm assuming it's this. Nope! Fuck, it's the long way around. Oh well. 
Onward! Knowing my luck, you could probably just climb up it. Up to the front of it and just climb up the elephant and everything. But whatever. Whatever! I don't even care. I'm going a long way around. I don't even mind. I'm the one editing these. It's not like I'm putting hardship on anybody else. Just kidding. I'm probably putting a lot of hardship on you viewers, you lovely people. God, so many shiny pockets. So many. It's like the game is rewarding me. Bronze! Fuck you! <sighs> Alright. See, that wasn't so hard now, was it? You don't even have a shiny pocket! Get out of here! I feel bad, he kind of slipped at the end. <laughs> oh, I feel like an asshole now. That's a lot of kick. Trust me, we'll need it. To get that ruby free from its moorings, you might have to whack it a few times with your cane. I'm on it. Yay! Well, that was weird. Murray, you're up! Murray, you're on. Slice knocked the ruby loose, and now we need your muscle to get it to the buyers. Muscle on the way! Why wasn't Murray already waiting over there? Murray. Inefficient bastard. Do I have his turnbuckle launch? I do! Good for me! Alright. I don't think there's a way I can get up here cheaply, though. So I gotta go around. Oh well. Oh well. I must do what I must do. What I must do sucks. Uh, I actually like playing as Murray. He's the character I feel the safest with while I'm playing. Like, he can handle his own even if he's spotted, because everybody dies in two hits. So, I'm, and he's got a large health bar, so I'm not afraid when I'm running around with Murray. He's like he's like the most character action of this of this game's characters. So yeah, it's all good. It's all good, Murray. I love you, big guy. You and your scarf. Alright. Think light! Think light! There we go. Good on you, Murray. Murray, you can pick up the ruby with your stop move. Despite its size, that rock is really fragile. Hi, Bentley. Bentley will run ahead and inflate cushions that are safe to throw the ruby onto. Use them, or this operation's a bust. That's now, bullshit. Head out to our rendezvous near the waterfall. Sly, that's bullshit. That thing fell off of the thing that you just smacked. Seriously, it's really fragile. Well, then why were you hitting it with your cane? Why were you just letting it fall off of the thing that it was hinged to? Thanks, Murray, or Bentley. You couldn't have done that on the way over here. Saved me a lot of time and stress, but no. That would be too simple. I'm gonna throw this rock right at your face, Bentley. I'm gonna throw it right at your face! Get back here, little turtle. Get back here, little turtle! You would think Bentley would have Bentley-shaped things, but nope. All about Sly, because it's all about that Cooper. All that Cooper. Slack Cooper. <laughs> Look at this shady ass motherfucker. This ruby is near flawless. I recommend to my superiors that we purchase it. Take it to our buyer and complete the contract. Oh, we will. Don't you fret about it when it'll be it. <laughs> oh, I'm such a devious little person. 
had. I went and saw a production of Blythe Spirit last night, which was really cool. Uh, if you guys don't know, it's a play about basically this guy and his wife become haunted after they they invite a don't snake. Okay, fuck. They invite a um a seer to their house so that they can um pretty much just have a good laugh. They're an uptight British family. And they basically invite the person for the sole purpose of having a good laugh. And in the process, they they end up accidentally summoning the spirit of the guy's ex-wife who died seven years ago. Very, very funny comedy. Very fun jokes and everything in it. Should be everybody. You want some too? Bring it, big boys! Yeah, really fun jokes. Oh, God damn it! I took care of you guys. Why are you all coming back? Are you done now? Can I go now? Can I get on with my story? But yeah. Um, in the play, there is there is a stereotypical uh, seer lady, and she did the the girl doing the performance. It was a high school performance, so not like not Broadway, but it was still pretty good. To its reputation, this is a true Indian treasure. We will honor the bargain and provide a cherry bomb 500 at the time the turtle requests. Okay, I didn't know I was doing dealings with Santa's elves, but whatever. Um. The seer lady, the girl performing as her, really good job. She did the whole Madame Clevoya kind of thing, and it was it was really fun, and it made me really want to go home and watch Poltergeist. Because basically, it's just a comedy version of Poltergeist. <sighs> but yeah, very fun, very good, t very much good times. Gonna sell some shit. Boy, I'm making that money. And then we got just Bentley's mission, and then the final mission.